Hello, so I am Polish American. I did not always think of myself as Polish American. In um, my previous uh, videos, I talked about how I became an, a child immigrant, immigrating with my parents from Poland to the United States, um, and then how I went through um, the naturalization process to become a US citizen, how I hold dual citizenship of Poland and the United States. And it wasn't um, until last year that I embraced the identity of Polish American. Um, for the longest time, I basically said, no, I'm, I'm Polish, and I'm also American. I'm 100% both, but not half and half each. Um, I also didn't consider myself white. As you can see, I am Caucasian, and yet I fought that tooth and nail whenever somebody would try to assign that label to me. I said, mm -mm, because I thought that's Protestant Anglo-Saxon. That was my idea of what white meant. Um, Coming from Europe, a lot of most Europeans nowadays know because there's a lot of immigration and, and um, things like that. But traditionally, most Europeans of European ancestry are Caucasian. So we didn't look at skin color as a way to differentiate between ourselves. We looked at our language. We looked at um, geography. We looked at our cultural differences. And it meant something. I can't, I, you know, if I'm Polish, I'm not German, I'm not Russian. I'm not British. It's different things. We didn't have a united identity um, living in Poland. Perhaps now with the European Union, it's it's a little bit less um, divisive. But the way I was brought up, I was Polish. So to say that I'm white is isn't is not delving deep enough for that um, to be true for me. So also, I thought Polish American uh, referred to people who were American. For all intents and purposes, born and raised here, um, certainly intermarried with people who were not Polish American, and perhaps they were able to trace some Polish ancestry back in the day. Maybe a grandparent came over or something. They might be able to say that they like kielbasa or pierogi, and probably not saying it correctly. Um, maybe they visited Poland, but they've certainly not lived there. And so I thought that's a very different view of life and um, culture than what I had. I still had mostly Polish influences in my life growing up, and that you know was lessened as, as I grew older and assimilated more and more. So um, I resisted that. I wasn't white, I was Polish, and I wasn't Polish-American. And then last year, we went on a, on a family vacation with my parents, with my husband, with, with our daughter. We went to surprise my grandmother uh, for her 80th birthday. And normally when we went back to Poland, we would stay with her in, in our house. But there were a lot of us, and it was a surprise, so we rented a hotel room this time. And I think that had part that was in part why I had a different experience on this trip. I was very disappointed with this trip. I always thought that whenever I go back to Poland, I go back, I go back home. Um, and I did not feel at home. I did not feel comfortable, not only in the country, not only with other Polish people, but in my own family, with my own relatives. I, we didn't have anything to talk about. I realized that what we found important or valuable to discuss um, was like two ships in the night. It was just so, so different. I, I tried so hard to, to fit in, and it was very, very depressing because I couldn't fit in anymore. Um, when my mom would talk with her mom and her sister, and I try to be a part of that group, and I was an outsider. I was just an outsider. Either their jokes or commentary would just go over my head, or um, I would get offended about things because I no longer had a Polish understanding of what they were talking about, or they were just talking about things that didn't interest me that I thought were more along the categories of, of gossip or comparing things. Like, I don't care about fashion and and um, I don't care about impressing other people with your intelligence with your looks with your whatever um, finances and it seems like in Poland that, that if there's a huge at least in my family at least in the Polish people that I that I know personally there's a huge focus on impressing other people on, on showing people look we've made it I've made it you know I've, I've got this figured out and it's a lot of pressure. Um, 
and I don't feel comfortable with that anymore. I, I, that feels fake to me. Um, my American assimilation process has, has led me to want to feel comfortable in my own skin. I don't want to put on high heels and, and walk around in shoes that are painful because of what other people will think of me if I have flats, flats on. That's ridiculous. I don't want to have to have my hair a certain way and spend money on it and, and, and frankly waste time every morning on make getting my hair to do things that it doesn't naturally do so that people can look at me and, and, and enjoy what I look like. Because honestly, let's be honest, that's what it is. If you spend so much time on your physical appearance uh, n and it's not because it makes you feel better, uh, but because you're concerned about what other people think, you're just kind of creating a, uh, a portrait that you carry around. And look at me, look, pretty picture, pretty picture. I mean, it's ridiculous. Like, you don't let people in. And I've noticed that also with a lot of Polish people, you can't get into their psyche. Like, they don't want to be open and, and authentic and honest with you. They're always concerned about what does this person want out of me or, or what what's this guy's angle or you know they might they might take it the wrong way so it was very difficult to try to keep up appearances and i didn't want to do it anymore i didn't want to impress other people i just wanted to be comfortable in my own skin um so in all polish company even here in the states we have polish communities here you know i go to polish parish and it's just it's not it's not home it's not home anymore. It's like having nice memories, but that's it. So anyway, um, so after the trip last year, it occurred to me that, you know, I am white. I am white American, and I happen to have been born outside of the country. I happen to have my heritage be Polish, but that's no longer the number one um, criteria in how I see, how I view myself and how I view the world and what's important to me, my values, um, my culture is American, I'm an American and, and that's okay. I'm not going to let my Polish relatives or other Polish people tell me that I am somehow um, more important in the world or whatever because I have this Polish heritage. Yes, I'm proud of it. Great. Outstanding. Okay. But there's nothing wrong with also being American or especially being predominantly American now. So now I see the term Polish American as a spectrum where people fresh off the boat, people that were like me, that are just recently becoming American, um, they're Polish American, and then people who have been here for generations, whose families have been here for generations, um, and don't speak Polish even, they're also Polish American. We all fit on a spectrum, and it's okay. And I, I no longer have the Polish attitude of, I'm better than Polish Americans. I'm Polish. No, I'm not better than them. I'm different than them. And it, and it's not my own doing that I happen to have been born in a different country than them. That I happen to. Uh, speak Polish because that's the language that my parents spoke to me. I mean, I didn't, I didn't earn that, okay. And yet, uh, you know, that's the the Polish culture would have told me that I should feel proud of that because it's something that's better about me. I don't think so. I think I can be proud of it just because it's something that's unique and good without having to compare it to anything else. The other thing too, my daughter, she was born in the United States. She is of mixed heritage. She is um, not Polish in the way that I was Polish. And it's, she's certainly not Polish in the way my mom or my grandmother is Polish. And that may be hard for my, my old, older generations in my family to, you know, to realize that their family has now shifted gears and is in a different culture now. But it is what it is, you know. It's... Um, like I said, there's nothing better about Poland than about the United States. So I want to focus on what what me and my daughter have in common and what we have in common with my husband, her father. 
in that we are all American now and we all have different um, experiences, different um, birth stories, different cultures, you know, that we bring into our new little family. And I want to celebrate that. Yes, I speak Polish to my daughter. My husband speaks Spanish to our daughter. She's already been to Poland once. I definitely plan on taking her um, to Poland again. But um, I'm not going to try to force the Polish identity onto her. I'm not going to try to guilt her into feeling more Polish than she um, is or that she wants to feel. Or maybe she doesn't identify as Polish at all, and that's okay. That's okay. That doesn't hurt my feelings. I'm, there's more to me than just my national origin. It doesn't define me. So this was a huge breakthrough for me. Number one, hey, I'm Polish, guys. Guess what? Everybody knew that but me, but now I know. My own family knew that, okay? But I, you know, I didn't think I was Polish. I'm, I thought I was Polish. I didn't think I was white. So, yeah, I'm white. I'm Polish-American. And it, it, what it, it. All right. So, thank you for watching. And I'll be back.